Mr. Cecil, where are you? Mr. Cecil? I need you to open the door for me, please and thank you. You're still low? Uh, Harpy's Lair. I need to get inside the Harpy Lair. No chance. Come on. I know all about the Harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. And I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off! You're acting like a drunk suitor! No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the Alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days. And I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. Oh, I just blackmailed the guy into opening the gate. That's horrible. Okay, so do I have to follow him or... No, I just go directly into the caves. Excellent. Poor Cecil. I guess he's an alcoholic. Alright, welcome to the quarry filled with bloody harpies. I'm gonna try to make my way without fighting too much, but I think there will be a lot of them. Um, it's actually down there somewhere. Yeah, the door is down there. Hopefully it's open. And hopefully I don't have to go back to open it because I don't know if I have to follow the guy or if he's just gonna open it for me remotely. Okay, so far so good. So far no harpies. Usually this place is filled with them. Wait, where did they all go? Maybe because it's part of the quest they just disappeared? Because that's actually, there was a quest here to collect 60 harpy feathers and that's where I got them from. Meaning that I had to kill approximately 50 or 60 harpies. And I did it right here, right in this hellhole. Um, okay. Surprisingly empty. I guess they're all inside the cave now. Yep. Uh, found something. Herb, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna go inside. Uh, I think this is the door. And it's open, yay. Harpy's lair. Get our swords ready. Get our game saved. And music changed. Excellent, there you go. First Harpy. Where you at? Okay. Damn monsters. So these are the bigger harpies that I actually fought be before as well. The Calerno harpies. Um, so it's sort of like a mini boss in a sense. That's the one I fought to get that dream. No, but now I have to fight too. Which is not cool. Not cool at all. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay, two down. Uh, probably a million more to go. What are they giving me? Uh, saliva and feathers. Oh, yay, my favorites. Uh, this cave is really tiny and claustrophobic. Okay, more harpies. Oh, these are normal ones. Whoa. 
Oh, seriously. Shit, you stink. Uh oh, I hear some big boss coming up. Oh, a mega extra big harpy. What a mega extra big dream for me. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a lot of harpies here. I think this is my 20th or so. So I kind of cut a lot of this out because it was basically battle after battle. Every little uh, area I come to has harpies popping out of, out of nowhere. They're surprisingly easy to fight though. I mean, as long as you dodge them and have uh, some kind of uh, either armor or whatever up. I usually have my coin up so it protects me from them. Um, so they're not as hard as you think. Because they don't really actually shoot anything at you. They just basically attack you mindlessly. Okay, I'm going here, I guess. Okay, that looks familiar. Uh oh. Is that the Mega Harpy? Wait, that's the thing that started uh, the, the fog thing. Oh, you're ugly. Isn't it the fog machine? Where the blood started the fog trouble? What did you just do? What is happening? Okay. The head of a king. Take it to Sheila. You know where. She'll give you coin and further orders. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. You'll go unarmed, in common clothes. Try to sneak through unnoticed, but if anyone asks, you'll bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time. Is that a memory? Wait, did he participate in king killing? Because that was uh, that was his voice, Geralt's voice. What just happened? I'm not sure what just happened. So is this what I'm looking for? How do I do? I just take it. We that says let us dream. Oh, that's his dream. Wait, what? Okay, hi. What's up? Oh my god. 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 That's a lot of harpies. That is a lot of harpies. Oh, it's a queen. I see. It's a harpy queen. That's why she's more difficult than everyone else. So I'm killing the queen. The queen is dead. What do I do? Nothing. Kill the rest. Okay. <laughs> Last harpy to go. Wow, that was that was quite challenging. Mostly because this is such a cramped area. There's no nowhere to move. There's no space for me to escape. But they're not very hard. Uh, they only have like one attack, and they just kind of fly around, doing absolutely nothing. All right. So hopefully, Queen gave me something cool. Where is the Queen's body? Uh, nope. Is that it? Harpy egg? Oh, she gave me a sword called Harpy. Cool. That sounds awesome. Who's this guy? Some random dude here. And the Harpy feathers actually cost quite a lot, so if I end up selling them, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some good money. Oh crap. I'm sorry I took your egg. I'm sorry I took your egg. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Oh, I just realized I have a, my quest is not uh, is not to leave this place. I actually have to find these dreams and use the projector to find the most powerful one. That's actually awesome. That's a pretty cool quest. Uh, so I guess that thing right there is a projector. That's that's what caused the mist as well. So um, pouring blood on that thing causes the ghost to appear because that's I think that's how the mist mist appear here before. I also may want to, I think I'm going to use one of my potions because I'm not really healing fa fast enough. So I think I found another dream that's right there, but I have to get rid of these stupid harpies first. 
All right, so let's use the machine, see if we found enough uh, dreams to actually choose one. Oh, I have five. No, four. Okay, so this is uh, Letho's dream. That's the one we saw before, I think. Then there's a green crystal. Let's see what this is about. You're as beautiful as an elf, my lady. Come to me, my hero. Let's fuck in the barn. Ah, oh, the luck. I think I wanted to play dice with the others. Call them too. It'll be lovely. All right, so this is a porn dream. I'm not sure if this is going to be considered powerful, but it's interesting. Uh, we have... This, uh, that was Peasant's Dream. Red Crystal. Oh, that's the Dragon's Dream. That's the Dragon's Perspective, I think. That's awesome, actually. Didn't realize that dragons have dreams too, but of course they do. Okay, so I'm guessing this is probably the one I need. But I want to see the other one too, Blue Crystal. So that's Dragon's Dream and Blue Crystal. Okay. It's a pig on a stick. Is this some sort of an animal? Probably like a dog or something. That is hungry. Oh. Okay, so this is uh, Yorvet's dream of food and stuff, I guess. I guess he's hungry. Poor hungry elf. I'll feed you. I wonder if I can use this to, like, blackmail him as well. Okay, Yorvith, uh, Letho, Dragon, or Peasant. Uh... Okay, wait, so I guess I, I got the right one. Did I? I'm gonna read my quest thingy to find out what which one I'm gonna pick. Okay, yeah, that, oh, so I was right, the dragon one is the powerful one. It says, Witcher cast a net into the sea of dreams and fished out the very one he needed. A dream stolen from a dragon could contain enough magic to be useful to Philippa. Geralt has found another ingredient of Saskia's cure. And I believe this is actually the last one. Yeah, this is definitely the last ingredient I needed. So I'm gonna go ahead back to Philippa and see if she can come up with a cure for Saskia. Okay, that new sword that I found is actually a silver sword and it's called, um, I believe it's called Harpy. And it's really powerful. It's actually way better. It's almost twice as good as my previous sword. Um, so it's a good thing I didn't actually craft a silver sword because this is way better than anything I could have crafted. Wow, it, uh, yeah, super powerful. Uh, takes care of these dudes really, really well. Ah, come on, let me go. And so I'm gonna get out of this cave and go proceed to my quest. I believe I have to return all the ingredients I found. Uh, to Philippa, and then I have to also find a banner um, in some sort of a cave. Oh no, let me out, let me out, let me out! I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, I don't want to... Ah, uh, fine. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. And this is what I meant when I uh, when I said that I didn't want to go to the uh, quarry, because look at that. There's like 10 of them following me. I'm just gonna try... Oh boy, there's more. I'm just gonna try to run out of this situation without fighting these guys. Because that, that is going to be a very long fight. And I think I already have enough feathers to last me a lifetime. Hello, Philippa. I wonder what happened to the, to her assistant. Did she just run away? She's not here anymore. Um, I just sold all my harpy stuff and I actually made almost 2,000 orange. So harpies are definitely profitable. If, you, if you're lacking money, go kill some harpies. You wanted to discuss something? I do have the ingredients. Your turn, sorceress. I have all you need to cure Saskia. Let's get to work. Okay. Scoyatel, stand aside.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. That is a really big syringe. And now she's gonna say, I tried my best. She could make it. Oh no, she, has, she even has to do the princess thing. My favorite type of magic. Lesbomancy. You're funny. What is your name? Sen... 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 What do they call you? Saskia. Do you remember what happened? Poison. They poisoned me. What day is it? What of the battle? Henselt and his army! Calm yourself. You will have your battle yet. I shall go and announce that you are once again among the living. Do I owe you my life? Kind of. And Philippa. Thank you, Geralt. I promise to return the favor. Have you succeeded in lifting the curse? No, but we're almost ready to try. Vandergrift's sword. It's one of the conveyors of the power. You should have taken it. It's scrap iron to me, a sword like any other. The Scoyatel wouldn't let anyone but Philippa near you, and they wouldn't have let even her take your famous sword. I'll try to remove the curse soon. Why do you aid me? Uh, I'm gonna be nice. Let's say it's a question of ideals. I espouse the same ones you do. You may yet prove a revolutionary. No, not bloodthirsty enough. Speaking of which, ever stop to wonder that all your commanders are natural born killers? It has crossed my mind. The truth is, many find peace far harder to bear than war. Can I ask you a personal question? Mm hmm. How did you get caught up in this? It's the way I was raised. I should say it's how my father raised me. My mother died in childbirth. I knew my father, or at least bits and pieces of him. He was a little like you. Never wore out his welcome. But he did succeed in teaching me two things, honor and how to be free. My choice was to spit on those ideals, or to fight. Okay, so now I have to get my symbols going. I believe I have to find two. And... Uh, I'm sure I can talk to her about something else. Um, one of them is a sword that she has and the other one is the banner that's somewhere else. I believe it's actually across the fog again. Good luck, oh, she has nothing to say. We await your and this butter churner had some stuff in it.